<laughs> okay. Take one. Uh, no. <laughs> take one. Question number one. Yes, the, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Devi Avucha. I'm from, um, I'm half Indian, but I live in Norway and grew up in Norway. I started training in a small town in Norway, Olsen, but I've lived in Oslo now for seven years, eight years, seven years, I think. <laughs> the time flies. <laughs> and I trained there with um, uh, Eduardo Hughes from Brazil, Brazilian top team, and Trun Saxony. Martin Yusufson, a lot of good guys there. Uh, I also trained with Leticia Ribeiro in Brazil for a little while, but since I don't see her that much, it's uh, difficult to. She actually gave me my purple belt, but it's difficult to keep the keep together because we live far. She's in the states and Brazil now, and I'm working, so <laughs> so I'm mostly in Norway. Second question is just basically, what's your in interests in outside of Jiu Jitsu, outside of martial arts and what, what do you do for work? Uh, my work, I work with exhibitions, I'm a project manager, project coordinator with exhibitions, so it takes a lot of my time. When I was studying it was a little bit easier to compete, so most of my big achievements is from 2005 and 6 when I was still in school. I won the Mundials in, in 2005 in my blue belt and the Arnolds in USA and yeah, I was competing a lot in second place in Mundials and everything I had more time and now when the level is so high it's, you have to train good to go to competitions, it's not fun to go and you just lose because you didn't train enough so I'm trying to get time to train enough to compete more but outside of uh, Besides my work, I like a lot of like, uh, I even like dancing, I like to dance, I take dance classes and train like running and a little bit of weights, not that much weights, I like to train with the bungee and stuff and I don't have that many girlfriends training so I have to make time to be social too, it's important, stay with my friends and go out and when I'm not, when I don't have to compete it's important to do things that you like, I think. So next question is like, uh, how did you get into martial arts? How did it all start? And uh, uh, for how long have you trained? And what sports? Hmm. I don't remember how old I was. I think it was high school or something. I started with normal sports jiu-jitsu, but didn't really. I went there to the trainings, but didn't really feel that great actually. But I got used to like the close contact and everything. And then I had a, a friend. Uh, that started in my small town so it was a different kind of train because the level was not that high at that time and everything but he made me know the sport and if it wasn't for him I wouldn't know all these people that I know today it's just amazing how much this this sport uh, gave me and I just started training there and when I moved to Oslo there the academy was bigger and better so I continue training there and it was just coincidence. I think my friend just wanted me to go to his trainings because he knew that I was doing Jiu Jitsu before and then uh, it was easier for me to kind of start and I went there and <laughs> yeah. And it's been going pretty good? Yeah, it's yeah. been going good. I've been training for like eight years now. Yeah, okay. So I can't imagine not having this sport anymore. It gave me a lot, a lot. Yeah. You you mentioned some, some of your like biggest achievements and yeah, what I'm most proud of is, of course, the Mundials. It was, at uh, that time, I had like, I don't think, four fights or something, and it's three and a half years ago now, so it was a little bit uh, different, you know. Now you have more girls, and you have more girls to train with and everything, but for me it was cool to meet girls. I almost didn't fight girls, and and that was a big achievement for me on the next mat on my side was my friend Camilla and she won like one minute before me <laughs> she was on the side like Whoa! <laughs> and the judge referees had to tell her to go out of the mat and everything it was, it was a lot of fun and it was the same year that we got to know Lechis Beiro and Leca it was a great year and also the Arno challenge in USA was very nice for me because there too was good girls and I got second place in the no gi and first place in the gi 
And then I used to compete a lot in Sweden before too, uh, white blue belt and have some Scandinavian opens and everything. But I have to say that it's changed now. We didn't have, now we can be a blue belt and maybe have five fights. That time it, we had to put all the belts together and last fights and everything. So I'm happy for the girls now. Okay, so when you were a blue belt, you competed against uh, purple belts or? Yeah, but here in Scandinavia, we, we didn't have, I was actually the first, I think me and Camilla was the first girls that we knew of, anyway, in, in Scandinavia, we fought boys in our first competition and other competitions too. And then had some girls coming and I don't remember who I fought. It was like maybe some purple, but blue and white and different weight classes too. So it was really big girls sometimes and really small girls sometimes. So it was a little bit unfair, but at least we, I feel like we were a part of making it grow here in, in Scandinavia. Actually, I hope so for the girls. Uh, okay, so so this, this leads me to the next question. Uh, what do you think of the, the girls only idea, the, the training camp? I like it um, because like at home I have my own girls group and I didn't have it for that long like you know, since the summer um, and it's not that I want to say oh we're so much weaker and so much this and that than the boys but the thing is that when you compete compete with girls I was just talking to Shanti about that here you use your strength 100% of the time with a guy that's 80 kilos you can't you can't use your strength because there's no point because he will be stronger you can do whatever you want but it won't help you so you just you just need to wait for if he makes mistakes or give you a space to go here you you can see what technique are working you get a better chance the guys train with other guys every day and I think it's very good to mix but also to have a class and a camp like this too to to train with each other with me too before I was like no I can train with guys it's the same I get stronger I get this and this. but it is good for girls to train together it's a different train you can try your techniques your techniques will work and and see that what happens to some girls is that they're the only ones in the academy and all the guys are always saying oh you're so good you're so good you're so good because they can maybe defend an arm bar or something you know and you, and you think here yeah, that you're so good that's what happened to me and thinking, ah, my level is so good. And then you, you go to Portugal or Brazil or USA and then they have many girls there who are better and you need to see what's out there because many times the girls are alone in the academy. Uh, let's just wrap it up a little bit. You've been in a, sort of a hurry <laughs> to the airport. But uh, what, what's next for you? What's your next goal or what's the next competition? Or uh, yeah, right now I am working a lot, so I'm, I'm trying to see uh, what I can have time to do. There is going to be Pan Ams and something in New York and Mondials and everything. If I can, I want to go to New York or Mondials, but it depends a little bit with my work. So um, there is something in Abu Dhabi too, I'm going to see if they have girls. And if I can't go to a competition, this... Um, during before the summer then my then my goal would be just to train my girls as good as I can and 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 send them to competitions but uh, I really miss I didn't compete in a year just a one or two competitions a year and I really miss it so I'm gonna try but I can't say exactly which one because I can't live with jiu-jitsu here in Norway so <laughs> uh, unfortunately so I have to work and make money so so I just have to see, see what I can make time for. So we'll, we'll just keep our eyes open after your name and the <laughs> yeah, results yeah. list. So I just have to, if I have some time free, what I was saying earlier is that I don't, before I could just go and do my best, but now I know some of the girls there, they're really, they're really good. They, they live off this. They, they have the whole day, the whole week to train. Um, so I have to be good if I go to a big competition. I don't want to go and be bad. So if I lose, actually, I, then I at least I did my my best. And so when I can see that there will be time, I will go for sure. Perfect. We yeah. wish you the best of luck. And thank you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> thank you.